we can uh, we can just switch the camera to whichever one. What Mitchell? Oh, sorry. Yes, yeah, so we got Greg McRae and Jalen Robinson here, so uh, we'll take questions for either one of them. Um, go ahead and just and put it in the chat if you'd like to ask some questions. I'll start with uh, Matt Brashell because I know Matt will probably have questions. We'll start there. But then put it in the chat if you have questions, please. Greg, uh, this one's for you. What you know, this is obviously probably going to be your final game. Uh, what will you take from this season? What do you take from your experience at UCI? Uh, I just take the brotherhood that we have here, um, the bond that I've built with uh, people in this building, um, the, the coaches, the the uh, players, you know, sports staff, trainers, everything um, is a family forever. So, um, you know, they're going to always be by my side. I'm always going to be by their side. Jalen, I want to ask you real quick, what, what, what did BYU's defense do to maybe kind of stifle you guys a little bit early on? I didn't hear you. Uh, what did BYU's defense do to stifle you guys early on offensively? Um, I wouldn't say they stopped us. I felt that we had a great game plan coming in. We played a, a great team that had a good game plan, but we just didn't execute the plays that we needed to. Uh, Jalen, you All right. Um, Brian Murphy says he has a question for uh, Greg McRae. Go ahead, Brian. Greg, how tough is this to end your UCF career with this kind of game, this kind of loss? Uh, it's tough. Um, you know, any loss is tough. You know, this one stings uh, because you want to, uh, you know, go out on a good note. Um, so, I mean, like, it hurts. But, uh, you know, there's bad days or good days. Today was just a bad day. Um, I'm not gonna hang my head on it. I'm just gonna, you know, wake up tomorrow and, and try to get better. All right, Jason, Jason B. Greg, does a loss like this make your decision at all more difficult not coming back with the extra year, or does it not impact your decision at all? I mean, no, we just uh, deal with that decision when it um, comes time. We'll go back to Brian with another question. Greg, I just wondered in general, overall, what this season has been like for you to go through these 10 weeks, really these four months with playing this season in midst of a pandemic. Okay, can you repeat? Sorry. I was wondering what this season has been like for you, just from your point of view, playing these 10 weeks, playing college football in the midst of a pandemic. Uh, it's been different. Uh, you know, one day your teammates there the next day he's gone for uh, um 10 days maybe 14 days so uh it's been different uh you know just the whole process of it uh going just even just walking into the building one way entry entries you know uh temperature checks every day um you know so and it's like you know any little thing that you have you know you, you have to report it because uh, you want to look out for your teammates so it's been it's been different uh, you know, just everything about it, you know, I mean, the world isn't the same right now, so it's it's different. That's as best as I can say it. <laughs> We've got time for about two or three more. I've got one from Bree. Hey, Jalen, this one's for you. Obviously not the way you guys wanted to uh, end this season. How do you build off of this? Coach was saying, you know, you let this one sting, you simmer on it during the off season, but and what does this mean moving forward? Oh uh, yeah, like I said, this one hurts. It, it hurts all of us. I know, especially the seniors. And dude, you have to take in. You have to uh, take it in, learn from it. But I think we have to move on and just uh, work, work, and be ready for next year. Okay, last couple here. Uh, Mike Bianchi has one. Yeah, for Greg. Greg, can you just talk about what does UCF need to do to get back to where they were a couple years ago? And you know, when you guys were running the table and uh, uh, in the national uh, playoff conversation. I mean, we have the talent. Um, we have the uh, great coaches. Uh, we just need to execute. Um, you know, it just came down to just the little details, and um, it's just as simple as that. Just you know, little details and making sure that we execute on um, all, on in all phases of, of the game.
All right, last one here. We'll go Brian Murphy he has a question for Jalen. Jalen, I know you're still getting over this game and this season, but going into next year, you will be maybe the number one receiver in this offense. Marlon is leaving. Uh, Trey Nixon's a senior. Jacob Harris is a senior. Have you thought at all about how next year you will have to be even more of a leader? Have you thought about that already? I have. I feel that I can mature more to, at a higher level, and I know that I have to take the step to uh, to lead these guys next year. So um, my plan is just to um, to work hard and uh, lead by example with the younger guys so that we can be like, you know, the uh, the older teams here and doing that talk about the next playoff. All right, guys, thank you very much. Love BYU in here in just a few moments. Thank you.